introduction i have been traveling non-stop for one and a half years and now it has all come to an end <laughs> that is so dramatic <laughs> i can't have that no 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 scrap it scrap it do you have anything to say okay just some sniffing he's got some sniffing to do all right let's get this started my my dog will be joining this adventure for today he will have some opinions of course uh but he doesn't say much so I, I think that's probably a good thing for this video. This is way harder than I thought to start this show. So I'm actually stuck here in my own apartment, in my own bedroom in Sweden. As some of you might know, I have been traveling for one and a half years throughout Asia making food videos. Are you a fan of Brain? No. You're not a fan of Brain? And now it's all come to an end. Thank you so much, Corona. This has been a very crazy few weeks, uh, probably for you as well and for the world. I want to tell you a little bit of a story and a background to what happened and what is my future. And uh, we're going to start with why I headed home. And as some of you know, as all of you know, there is a virus. The Corona COVID-19 virus has been spreading throughout the globe. 11 of March, HWO confirmed that Corona was a Corona was a... 11 of March, HWO confirmed that it was a pandemic. Thank you so much for letting us know in such a head of a time, HWO. You did a great job. When HWO confirmed that it was a pandemic, the whole world was like, what? A pandemic? Really? Oh shit, we shut down the borders and everything just chaos after that. I don't know how people got so surprised by um, how rapidly viruses can spread. Now it is over 700,000 confirmed cases. <coughs> 700,001. So I was actually in Malaysia. I was recording food videos there. I was in Penang and uh, I was gonna do three videos there and I actually only managed to do two and I had uh, videos planned for other parts of Malaysia but it all came to a very sudden stop when Malaysia got 190 cases in one day and I knew that that was bad news and um, that was confirmed like 17 of March and uh, I decided that I was gonna fly the next day it was really that that quick because I knew they were gonna lock it down or something like that and they did when you get trapped uh, and all the countries are shutting down their borders their transit routes you basically can't go anywhere like possibly for months and months on end. And I didn't want that to happen, so I flew immediately to Taiwan. I had to narrowly escape my way all the way from Taiwan to Sweden. And I'm here right now, stuck in my apartment, nothing to do, my life is so great right now. Yeah. I can't make the videos, cause like I told you, the, the, it wouldn't be possible. I don't want to spread a virus. I don't, there's, no, there's no food right now. Everything's shut down. I don't think there's a lot of people doing traveling right now. And that is totally understandable. We don't want to spread this disease further. And we want to contain it as much as possible. So we should all stay inside. I'm also asking for your help to give suggestions on what I should make videos about. Because like I told you, there, there's no possibility of making any food videos right now unless I'm cooking in my kitchen and that kitchen is not even cookable I showed my friend my dogs and he told me dude you should totally make a channel about the dogs and I was like about the dogs just make videos about the dogs that's not unique everybody has a dog and he's like no just make them like eat something <laughs> so he wanted me to create a food channel with my dogs eating food very creative man maybe that's what I should do I don't know, he doesn't care. He's like, shut it down, shut it down. <laughs> shut it down. I know there's a lot of people that are interested about the food culture in Sweden, and there, there's a lot of things that could be made here. So I'm, I'm thinking about making something like that here. But still, like, it's too early. I don't wanna expose anyone. I don't wanna expose myself to the virus or affect anything. So I, I kinda like, I'm stuck here. Even if this pandemic was over, I'm not sure that I would immediately take a flight back to Asia and continue doing food videos. I'm not sure that this is what I want to be doing all my life, you know? Like one and a half years is a pretty long time traveling all by myself and creating these videos. How, how long am I supposed to do that? You know, am I supposed to do it for five years, for 10 years, just keep traveling, keep eating, you know? It's kind of, I wouldn't say pointless, it's really fun. And 
It's just that, is this something that you want to do for a long, long time? I want to think of a long-term uh, solution. And I find food very fascinating and interesting and, and stuff like that. But it's also like food is food. And you know, after a while, there isn't that much to say. Like, I don't want every single reaction to be like, mmm, this is so good. <laughs> After a while, everything's become quite repetitive. And since I'm doing everything myself from the filming, the editing, and just the whole kit, it kind of makes you uh, unmotivated actually, because it's so much overwhelming work. And maybe it's time to move on to something different. It's even harder when this is not bringing you any income. And I, I just... God damn, it's so hard to do this shit. I will say like this, I love making videos, I love making content, and I, I really enjoy uh, your comments and your suggestions and, and all the kind words that you're writing to me. And giving this up is kind of like a disappointment to you as well. And I want to continue doing this, but right now I am in a very difficult phase of trying to figure out what the video will be about. Travel have been really quick and there's a lot of things that have happened and I would like to think that I've learned a lot throughout this time and all the people I've met and all the food I've tried and uh, emerging myself with the culture and um, it has just been a fantastic time. The point of making these videos was to kind of share some of the food culture when you're traveling yourself and maybe even even if you're not traveling just to be able to see some of the foods that you normally wouldn't try you know even me in the beginning of my travels i was kind of like skeptic of things to try once you actually do try you realize wow there is a lot of food out there and most of the food uh is very really, really good everything is really good asia is very different from each other uh thai food is very spicy uh if you go to the south and even if you go to like yeah even if you go to one part of the country there is another part of the country that is serving like almost completely different food so th there's a lot of diversity of food in all of the countries that you travel. And uh, that is what's so fascinating and interesting and fun to record. Um, I try to be grateful and happy of all the people that try to help you. And some of them have so little and they, they really want to give you everything and they want to show you everything. And a lot of times I have to, to think back and I have to calm myself down when things are stressful and I, I have to see everything in a new perspective because these people are working so hard for nothing and yeah it's really the little things that make you um happy if you have any recommendations whatsoever of uh things that i could create and uh what like if even if we're gonna switch category like humor and reactions and uh it could be a lot of different things so if you have some some suggestions please leave that in the comment section below okay i have two more videos coming out soon which will be from malaysia and they will be about food and that might be the last of asia for a while so make sure to watch them so this video turned out to be very like random and uh unplanned spontaneous and uh, I'm sorry for that but our lives are quite um, complicated right now I, I could imagine that some of you watching this also has some restraints to their normal lifestyle so that is it for us today in the studio and um, Musa wants to say goodbye to you uh, <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it made any sense to you whatsoever. And I want to say stay safe, stay home, and uh, let's hope this virus will be over soon. See you in our next video. And as always, guys, stay hungry. Okay, that's it, bro. Surprise, I'm very poor. <laughs> Please pay me, pay me now, give me all your money.
Nobody's getting money from me. Bye-bye.